Hey guys, this is Angus, and today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows 7 theme to look a sort of like Java's like theme. Of course, we learned that from Iron Man. It's really easy and simple. So there's very little things you need to do. There's only about three downloads. Of course, the first download I'm showing you is Rain Meter. It's really easy. So you might want to, one of uh, some of you might be wondering why should I download it? It's because Rain Meter is the software which allows you to install the theme and also it's quite helpful if you want to include some other themes so it's not just one fit one piece of software which you need to download it's for a lot of other things as well which you might want to use so this is probably the most important thing and you won't be able to do it without this piece of software now the file itself isn't that big it's just a little custom theme program now it does take a while but I've speeded up you want to just click on finish and rain meter okay and then once you've done that you will have all the themes and I'll show you the next bit so once you've fully installed it you'll get this sort of new theme that's going to be overlapping you might want to move some of your widgets on Windows 7 if you've already got some of course it'll say welcome to rain meter if you want to remove it then you can just right click on it and then go on remove now that's what I'm going to do. Some of the themes you might want to keep because they're quite interesting and they're quite useful but I don't really like them so I'm probably going to get rid of them. So you just click on unload skin and that gets rid of the uh, widget which is quite nice because you have a lot of control over it and of course for the other widget as well just right click on it and go unload skin. So once you've done that you want to go to another website and this is for downloading the background so of course I'll have all the instructions and the link in the comment uh, sorry the link description of this video and this website has all the tutorials and also the step-by-step -step guide now of course I've already shown you how to do this now what you want to do is you want to click on download on the right now you don't want to do that, sorry, you don't want to right click on the picture and then go and save as you want to click on download instead because that gives you the full resolution picture where if you click on it itself and go and save as then it goes pixelated and you just want to click on save as when you've got a downloaded one. Okay, and of course once that's downloaded it shouldn't be that long, it's about 2 megabytes which is barely anything and of course you want to open the file of course I'm going to overlap mine because I downloaded it which I learned from actually making this video that's downloading sorry when you right click on it and go and save as that it doesn't really work it makes it blurred instead of doing this it's a much higher resolution photo okay so when you open up it will come up as a full resolu resolution photo which is just one I want you want to click on set as desktop background of course if you go to your desktop then it will be there now one, some of you will be wondering, I haven't done anything, nothing's changed, don't worry about that. Once you've added the widgets, you'll see how it sort of overlaps with it. And of course, when you've done that, you want to go to the next step, which is actually downloading the theme for it. And this is where you use Rainmaker as well. So you want to click on it. Of course, I'll have the link for this as well, of course. It'll be on the website and you want to click on download in the same place where you clicked on download for the Iron Man image and it shouldn't take that long either okay so once that's fully downloaded you want to click on rain meter and then you want to right click on that and then go on themes and then you can select it so of course when you download that usually when I download my programs I usually have it straight in my downloads folder you want to click on the icon with the green raindrop and you want to just double click on it and of course you have the Avengers and another theme which was the shield and you want to just click on install don't worry about anything else it will do the rest for you okay and it shouldn't take that long fortunately my computer is quite slow so I do have some problems with it however most people running Windows 7 will be running an updated version of their computer now I am running a 64 bit but it will be a li bit laggy now I was actually surprised it was generally quite quick but a lot of the widgets did slow it down so of course if you want to get rid of any of them you can just right click and go on unload skin 
So of course you've got like this shield bit, which is the uh, the core of the Iron Man, of course. And you've got some really really nice widgets. Some of them are a bit pointless, so I'm going to remove quite a few of them. But most of them generally are really nice. You've got some extras, shortcuts. You've got of course the time, the date, CPU speed and stuff like that. Some of you might want want them. So I've got RAM speed and stuff like that. I'm going to get rid of that. But most of it's really, really nice. The design is brilliant. I think it's really great that this is really easy to install. It's free. And of course, in a minute, if you want to get rid of any of this, I'll show you how to do that really, really easy. So of course, if you want to uninstall it, don't worry about going through any of the settings or anything like that. It's incredibly easy. All you have to do is just right click on the Rainmaker icon in the corner and then you want to click on exit. Now I'm showing you that if you're typing in Rainmaker, don't worry about any of that. It's just it's not going to work. A really easy way of getting it back if you want to, you just click on Rainmaker and it will preload it. And then once you've selected that, it will preload it straight away, which is really nice. And of course, if you want to get rid of it again, then you can just right click and go and exit. So that is how to make your theme. Thanks for watching.